Yo, 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 how's it going everyone? I'm in a bit of a rush today. We've got the game on and I'm running a little bit late. So the things that I usually talk about in my room before I go, letting you know what I'm going to do in the game, I'll be doing it in the car today, so something a little bit different. We're versing a team, oh, car. We're versing a team that isn't too great, we don't think, but you never know in this league, it could be anything. The team that we versed last week, they were second, and then we were three nil up in the, or three one up in the first half, but we got up three nil in the first like 30 minutes. So this week it could be anything. I think these guys are coming second last or something like that. So it'll be an interesting game. I had my mentor session on Friday night, so that was two nights ago. And it seemed that this week's, whoops. It seemed that this week's theme was a lot about protecting the ball and letting the ball go. So what I mean by that is too many times I would receive it and I'd look to pass it really quick or I would turn into the player when the best option is to protect it with my body, get my body in between the ball and the player. And my mentor said that James Rodriguez does that really well. So I watched a couple of clips on him and I could clearly see that. So I'll be implementing that today and also letting the ball run. So if I want to go forward with the ball, then I'm going to try and let it roll across my body uh, just to beat the defender without touching it so that it's a lot quicker because if you take the touch, then you're obviously taking more time. But all in all, I'm looking forward to this game. I think we all are, uh, we really want to get a win. So it's going to be a good game. If we can get some goals, that'd be great. I'm now officially the top goal scorer. I said, I think it was five videos ago, something like that, that they had an update I had to call them. They only just updated it, so now I'm joint top on five goals. Uh, it could be different after this weekend, but it's. I think we're coming fifth or so. We've had a couple draws. We need to get some wins on the board, and that starts today. Two. Look, go like this. Oh, here we go. Oh, wow, that's nifty. That is nifty, isn't it? Get in there, get in. No, Kevin, get in with me. I'm not here for the wow, show. Wow, must have been. Tell me anchors don't break. Welcome to the voiceover for this game. Starting off, I had a corner, a pretty decent corner. A couple of my recent ones have just been going to the near post, but that one was pretty good. Same again, this one uh, from the opposite side. Usually I don't take them from that side, but we nearly scored from it very, very close in that one. And then from that, the keeper launches some amazing ball, and this guy kind of just strength abuses and gets one-on-one -on -one with our keeper and saves. So, brilliant save by our keeper. As you can see, I'm in the middle. I make my run down the line, which is so silly. I should be in the middle on the edge of the semicircle of the 18-yard box. That would have provided an option to switch out. Nonetheless, our winger gets on the ball, has a shot, and then has another shot and scores. So, it didn't matter too much, but ideally, I'd want to be in that middle area. So, that put us up 1-0. This was a corner by them, a horrible corner, and then a clearance that goes up in the air, and this guy just swings his foot at it, gets it in the box, and then he headers it, and it goes in. So I was positioning myself ready for the counter if anyone jumped up for that header and headed it forwards, and I would have been ready for that and uh, progressed with the ball. This was a free kick that I won. I received the ball there, take my touch forward, and I get clipped. I don't think I would have made that one looking back at it. In real time, I thought I would have made it, and they were abusing me, the other team, for diving, and uh, I wasn't touched, but I did get touched. That's why I went down and uh, won the free kick. So moving on, I had a free kick here, which I took horrible, worst free kick ever. I was in two minds there, whether to shoot or cross. I go try to go 1v1 here, get down the line, not quite. I didn't fool that guy enough with the drop of my shoulder and didn't get past him. Moving on, there's this goal. Oh, not this goal, this shot I had. Oh, the volley. So close. Somehow the deflection just happened to fall to me. And I just, oh, maybe I should have controlled it. I just tried to precisely hit it and missed this one, brilliant positioning, great ball by Charlie, and then I get swacked in the face by that guy. He was at me all game, swacks me in the face. We win a free kick there, so he was quite angry and uh, continued to foul me, but that's football. That's how it goes. Some people just like to do that sort of thing. So that was that clip. 
bit of play. I moved out to the left wing this time. Uh, another player came on in the 10. I saw that our left fullback needed support. I moved down the line, take the ball inside. Ideally, that ball there would have been a lot harder so that uh, our fullback would have been 1v1 and then could have gone for the, forward with it. Uh, we're playing out from the back here. Our six bounces the ball and then runs forward so that our centre back can progress, but then he passes it and it was a mixture of faults and that that's not to worry, but then they do somehow score a worldie of a goal with the left foot into the far corner. And as you can see, we drop from that, that puts us two one down and oh that was just a horrible feeling to see that from us and I think everyone was pretty disappointed and we wanted to get better and lift and move on with the game. Uh, this was some great work by Kai on the right wing. I received the ball. If I had my time again, I would have slipped the left fullback in. Look at him go. If I just put him in, he would have been in the box, ready to put a cross in or have a shot, and we most likely would have done something with it. This is the clip where my mate Sepa gets injured. Guy comes in, wins the ball, but he does go studs up, and I think Sepa's quite injured from that, so I'm hoping he, I'm wishing him a speedy recovery, and so are all the boys in the team. Uh, this is leading to the end of the game. If you can see in the bottom right corner, the guy goes down to the ground, and this is the guy who was at me all game for diving and all that sort of thing. So I knew he was wasting time, and for me, I wanted to speed the game up, so I thought, why not run over and lend him a hand, try and get him up. Now that I watched the clip back, I couldn't control my emotions in that uh, situation and I tried to do it too forcefully. And I spoke to my mentor about it and we discussed it and we agreed that the best thing to do is to make sure that I can control my emotions in that situation because we were 2-1 down, we really wanted to win. And we spoke about how Messi, you never see Messi do that sort of thing. If anyone ever says anything to Messi or does anything to Messi, it was really clear in El Clasico where he got his lip chopped by Marcelo and he just continued on with the game. So that's going to be my plan for next week and the future games, focus on the game. All right, lads, what do you think about the match on the weekend? Uh, the match on the weekend was a bit disappointing. Um, the result for the lads wasn't what we wanted. Uh, it wasn't what we sort of said before the game. We wanted the three points, but we didn't really get it. Uh, mainly because at times we just switched off. Uh, and I thought as a whole we didn't play as well as what we should have done. But yeah, couldn't do much about it. So. And how was your injury after 20 odd minutes? Oh, it's a bit frustrating to be honest. Like, you just you don't come along that very often. Just roll the ankle and you run along, but yeah, yeah. it's a bit disappointing. How are we going to turn the season around for next week? We've got Blacktown City, it'll be a tough match. What do you think? Uh, just discipline in the team, I think. We just go out with the mentality that we're going to collect three points every week, and I think that's, that'll do the job. Just get the W. Good stuff. Cheers, lads. Cheers, mate. I hope that gives you guys a bit of insight about how the team is and how we're feeling about next week. It was good to chat with those lads, give them a bit of an interview. But I really want to emphasise the point about me running over to the player on the ground. and. I, like I said in the commentary, I spoke with my mentor, that was tonight. The biggest thing that I spoke about with my mentor tonight, well, we looked at some new tasks for playing number 10, but we also looked at me running over and play, picking that player up from the ground. And we discussed it and we said, well, what's the objective? What, I, what am I trying to do? So I said, okay, well, I'm trying to make the game go quicker. And he said, well, what would you do if some player came to pick you up off the ground? And I said, well, I'd probably stay there. So. We said, you know, maybe you could run over and say, oh, are you scared of playing? Are you scared you're going to lose? Come on and have a chat with the ref. But having t picking the player up or touching the player, it will force a fight. And I didn't really think about that. I have not really had that situation before. So now that I know it, it's always about learning for me. So I've made that mistake now, but next week or if it ever happens again in my career, I've made that mistake and I've learnt from it. So now I'm a more developed player and will understand what to do in that situation. So that's the biggest thing for me. Disappointing with the loss. Very, very disappointing. It was a tough Monday session. We just everyone the heads were a bit low but we did have a fun session so that lifted our lifted our thoughts a little bit and we're all a bit more happy with that session we had like a crossbar challenge some, a bin challenge and some other stuff so that made it more fun but now we are focused on this weekend it's a must win we cannot afford to lose i need to make sure that 
I'm performing and making sure that I apply the tasks that I have with my mentor. Otherwise, I won't be effective in the game with my positioning and the understanding of space. So I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Make sure you subscribe, leave a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Listen.